Welcome to the poor man's retro game room and I'm going to give you an updated game room tour. Uh, we're going to start here with my Super Mario Brothers 3 poster. You've probably seen that uh, if you've watched the channel trailer. Um, really cool poster and you can get that off Amazon for very cheap. Um, very cool poster. Now we're going to get started here on some of the new things I've been collecting and that is VHS movies. Um, there is something about watching a movie on VHS that's just nostalgic to me. And here are these two movies that I've got setting out, King Kong and uh, Dracula, the Bela Lugosi Dracula. Um, King Kong, the original from like 1932. Uh, those two movies I watched with my mom in Colorado Springs back in the day when I was probably seven or eight. Um, my dad was out working and was gone. And so we were able to stay up. She let me stay up and watch the scary movie like that. They had the scary movie thing on every Friday night at like 10.30. So <laughs> I watched those with her. Of course, my mom's been gone a number of years now. But um, yeah, that's a real sentimental value to me. Uh, extremely cheap off of eBay, you know. Um, you can get into that. So you can get into VCR, uh, VHS movies. Really super cheap right now. I don't know that that'll ever go up, but it probably will at some point, but um, you know, the sentimental value there uh, is great. So that's why I kind of got into it. And I just remember uh, my three daughters, you know, we used to go into the movie store and just let them pick out a movie every weekend. And um, with three girls, we would allow one of them to be the star of the weekend, we called it, and they would get to choose the food and the movie every weekend and we alternated it off like that. And they also got the writing in front with mom and dad privilege as well in the car. So there you go. Um, yeah, so, you know, I don't know, there's something great about watching a VCR, uh, VHS on a VCR on a CRT TV, man. It's just, it's nostalgic. All right, so these two uh, consoles that I've got sitting out here, um, and this is my workstation, by the way. I just wanted to display these two two uh, consoles. Uh, those are the two that I picked up here um, a couple weekends ago. Uh, and if you remember right, that PS1 was extremely discolored. Both of them just full of dirt. Uh, the lid wouldn't work on the um, GameCube. And uh, I mean, I had to clean them so much. It was ridiculous. Well, I cleaned them up and I took the laser out of that one um, PS1. I had another model, similar model, and it was cool because those the laser switched right over to it, and um, it fit in perfectly. It works perfectly. So now I have a nice, clean, uh, nice-looking PS1 um, with some normal wear. You know, it's got a few scratches. You can't even see it on, on the camera, but works great. Uh, reads every disc. It's awesome. So I uh, was able to save a PS1 by bringing that console home. Uh, the GameCube works 100%. I uh, took the screws out of the bottom, lifted the shell off, washed it, and don't cringe, but I washed them like I would a dish, man. I filled up the sink and with dish soap, and I mean scrubbed them and washed them out. So. And I actually had to do this one twice. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it works fine now and door shuts, of course, it was just dirt in there. So, all right, well, here's my, um, computer that I make YouTube videos on and I uh, do some gaming, not near as much as I used to. Um, I just, I just play retro games now, man. Um, I have some modern games, but I, I just play retro games. Um, yeah, I should have got rid of that candle. Uh, it's about dead. Uh, this is loaded with all my tools. Um, it's got my bit screwdrivers in there, the, everything I need to take a cartridge apart and clean it. Um, my trusty one screwdriver, my favorite screwdriver that I use on consoles to take them apart. So uh, that's where I keep all my tools and stuff and junk, really. Um, controller parts, like the little parts of the controller and stuff are in there as well. Anyway, 
Uh, then my small GameCube collection. Uh, GameCube is just really extremely expensive to collect for right now. Uh, next to that, I do have uh, PS1 Overflow, so those are some legitimate PS1 games. They're just, uh, I don't have room for them on the shelf. Um, and finally got them in a decent case to, to store them in. Got my PS4 collection, my Xbox One collection, and then some PC games that uh, are my favorite PC games from back in the day, some of them. And got those displayed there. All right, so moving on, we've got uh, my Sony Trinitron um, CRT 2 TV. And I love this TV, man. As far as the picture goes, uh, it's, it's the best CRT I have, really. Um, and I don't know, it, it's just, it's amazing. We found this on a curb, so somebody advertised on Facebook, hey, I'm throwing it out on the curb. If you guys, anybody wants it, come pick it up. My wife was looking out for me, thank goodness. She saw it on there, gave me a call, said, hey, you want to go pick this? Yeah, well, let's go get it. <laughs> so we ran right over there and grabbed it. Um, and I think that those days might be coming to an end where the CRTs are out on the curbside. But, you know, so if you, if you get a chance, man, uh, you might want to pick one up uh, if you don't have one. So then below that, I have my PS3, my Nintendo Switch, my Xbox 360. Um, and then below that, I have my Atari and my new uh, VCR DVD combination. So, and I have my Atari 2600 there, the Vader version. I have it going through the VCR and into the big CRT TV over there. So when I play Atari 2600, and no, that is not an Atari 2600 game <laughs> there. <laughs> Um, but I don't know, it seems like it gives it a little of a boost to the signal because my I'm just using coax cable, man. My, my points and center has not been modded. So. Um, and then we've got the Retrobit Super Retron Trio. And let's, let me say that again. The Retrobit Super Retro Trio. That's the best way to say it. That's the correct name. Uh, this is a clone console. I use this clone console. It's a great one. Man, it, it works perfectly. I've had it for, I don't know, years. And um, I use it for my multi-carts because sometimes the voltage can be a little different on the multi-carts. Um, and, you know, repro carts, I, I like to use it on, use repro carts on it because I'm not worried about damaging original hardware. Um, and, you know, it's really cool that it holds <laughs> three cartridges. Uh, there and I have the capacity of running it through either CRT so that's kind of cool as well. Uh, then we've got my Neo Geo Mini and what I've been doing with my Neo Geo Mini is um, I've been running it through a downscaler into my CRT TV and man I gotta tell you I love it that way. Um, it's like playing a Neo Geo on a, a CRT TV. Is it perfect? Nope. But it's uh, it's pretty darn close. So uh, it looks great. It plays great. No lag. Um, I use the uh, controllers that uh, you know they put out here that work with the Mini and the Arcade Stick Pro. Um, and I can connect my uh, uh, Pro, you know, my Arcade Stick Pro to the uh, CRT as well. Uh, next to that, then I've just got my Sega Genesis Mini, and I'll show you the rest of my minis here in just a minute. Uh, then we've got uh, the LCD screen for modern day gaming, you know, like the, the more modern games like Toe Jam and Earl. You know, I mean, that's, you know, you got to play that on a, on a HDTV, you know. And when I say modern day, you know, I'm, what, 92, 93? I don't know. Anyway. Um, then one of my favorite games of all time, and probably one of one of the games that is worth the most in my collection is uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, complete of course. Um, love this game. The disc is in excellent shape, and just love it. Uh, then a new addition to the room, and uh, I'm glad that Evil uh, has made it um, finally. Evil Knievel, the Stunt Cycle Trail Bike Edition, my man, yeah. Uh, Evil is in the house, and uh, I'm not sure what they did with his belt there, I'm going to have to cut that off, but 
uh, uh, helmet, everything. I had this, I got this for Christmas one year. Uh, was the best Christmas gift. I was gonna say bar none, but Stretch Armstrong was a pretty good Christmas gift, so can't take anything away from Stretch Armstrong, but uh, yeah, uh, one of my favorite Christmas gifts. All right, so then I have the big JVC IRC TV, CRT TV. Uh, what you're watching right now is the Street Fighter Championship or the Street Fighter collected collection uh, on the Sega Saturn um, that's running through this um, big JVC. I really love this TV. We got it for free uh, right when I was redoing this room and setting this room up. <laughs> this dude on uh, Facebook Marketplace said, "Hey, you want to come pick this behemoth up? You can have it." And so I got a buddy, we got my pickup, got a dolly. Um, man, it was rough, but it was worth it. I love this TV, man. Um, haven't seen another one like it on Facebook Marketplace, so uh, very happy with it. Another thing is, is it has just a ton of hookups on it. Um, so I've got you know stuff hooked up to various inputs on it. So very, very cool. Happy with it, of course. Um, and then I guess I didn't show you, well, I did, but the PS4 and the Xbox One, there. Uh, below there you're going to have a hard time seeing, but I have my PS2 Slim Black, I have my Nintendo Wii, I have one of my, my favorite PS1 that I use, and I've got like five PS1s, it's ridiculous, I know I need to get rid of stuff. Uh, then my original Xbox is there as well. Uh, coming over to the shelf, we have uh, part of the Tower of Power. We have the uh, 32X running through a original launch model, high definitions across it, packed with Altered Beast 16-bit powerhouse Sega Genesis. So uh, there you go. And then we have the awesome Sega CD, one of the unsung heroes from back in the day. Uh, one of the weird things I do, and you can tell that I'm I'm just weird, I don't know, but I have a extension connected. So I had a, uh, I had an issue where I plugged in a controller to one of my Sega Genesis, and it was, it was a good Sega Genesis, and it actually broke the pin off. So I was kind of thinking, how do I avoid that? And, uh, I found these extender cables on Amazon for free. So now I just connect my controller to it. <laughs> it saves the original hardware. And yes, I know I'm weird, man. I know, I, I'm hopeless. Uh, next to that, I have my Sega Saturn. Um, I have my Pseudo Saturn um, on my Pro Action Replay in there. I can play imports. I can play backup uh, discs. Very happy with that. That is an import of this game. You try to buy this game, um, U.S. version of this game, and uh, yeah, you're looking at around 500 bucks. So uh, the imports is the way to go for me on the Sega Saturn. And even if you don't have a pseudo Saturn, if you get the Pro Action Replay, that allows you to play imports, and it's huge, um, big money saver there. Uh, poor man's retro game room tip right there. Uh, then below that, I have. Uh, my SNES Junior. I have my Nintendo Entertainment System, and it is, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, uh, equipped with the Blinking Light Win. It has been modded. I installed that. There's no soldering. You can get it from Arcade Works. No, I don't have a deal with them, of course. Um, but it's really great. As long as your games are clean, this that Blinking Light Win basically turns it into a top load. If your games are clean, it'll play 100%, 100% of the time. And it also uh, disables your lockout chip as well, so you don't get that blinking light. Um, so, uh, then the uh, SNES Junior. Now, Josh Moore, a longtime subscriber, Joshua, uh, and I have made a trade. So, he is sending me a uh, Super NES that has actually been modded to play in ports. So, I'm looking forward to that. I'll have a video on that, of course, when it gets here. Uh, then we've got the Nintendo 64, my Jungle Green, and this is, um, I bought this brand new back in the day, and uh, loved it. 
kept it. Girls played it like crazy. They played uh, Mario Karts. They played all the uh, uh, great wrestling games on the N64 um, and just had a blast with it. Uh, Super Mario 64, they played it. They loved it. Then below that, I've got my uh, GameCube. Uh, that GameCube I got for 20 bucks, and I mean it is pristine. Um, I got it at a garage sale two years ago, I believe. Uh, then we've got my TurboGrafx-16. Um, love my TurboGrafx-16. Uh, really have opened up some good doors for me to play some really cool games that I missed out on, on the day, back in the day. Uh, I have my um, Sega Dreamcast, and I love it. I uh, don't have enough games for it yet, but still trying, still looking, and still trying to get deals on them. They're, they're going up in price. They've been steadily going up in price. Uh, I have a switch box down there. I can switch it to any game on the shelf. I also have a switch box down there, so different inputs. Uh, I can switch to any different console there. All right, so we've got John Elway looking over the proceedings. And uh, yeah, he rules with an iron fist. Uh, one of my childhood uh, heroes, he's still one of my heroes, so John Elway. Then, and that actually, that I inherited that from my mother, so uh, that has some sentimental value to me as well. Uh, then we've got some boxed consoles, I have my boxed PlayStation, um, my Neo Geo Mini box is up there, my Arcade Stick Pro, box is up there, uh, Xbox One box, the um, Assassin's Creed version, I have my original uh, Nintendo Switch box, I have my Nintendo Wii box, we bought this, my kids got it for me for Christmas when the Wii was out back in the day, and I've kept everything, love it. We, as a family, got so much use out of that. Uh, my original Xbox box uh, is completely empty. I found the box, kind of pieced this together. <laughs> so I've got the box and I got the unit and I'm pretty sure the unit is the one that came in the box. Um, you know, I sh I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they match. It's kind of hard to look that stuff up nowadays. Uh, behind there I do have my PS4 box, um, some of my retro and consoles boxes back there <clears throat> as well. And you know, what happened there? And I don't know, this random dragon up there, uh, so, yeah. Um, my NES collection, and uh, I saw a tip from a dude that just subscribed to the channel, and I subscribed to his, and it's a, you know, pretty young dude, man. I had a really good tip, so I had one of these old rental cases, and he's like, man, that's perfect for storing any of your manuals in it. And uh, I'll try to look up that uh, his channel name, if I can find that and put a, a link in the description, you guys can check his channel out too. But uh, that's a good idea, so I did that. Um, really cool tip. All right, so then we've got, uh, yeah, my NES collection. Um, games to mention, Rollerball, of course, Thanks Dad Racer, uh, Batman, Baseball Stars, POW, um, you know, standard fare. Um, I'm trying to collect as many Konami games in here and I did get a mystery game from 123 Gamer Man that is pictured in this shot and we were kind of joking around about trading for it. I was actually interested in it. Um, anybody who mentions that game who discovers which one that is, you go ahead and put that in the description, in the comments I should say, and you will get 20 bonus points from the Poor Man Retro Game Room. So, it's there. I'm not going to call it out. Alright, so then we've got, uh, you know, I, I try to keep my five screw original black box games together. So I've kind of got those separated a little bit. But um, just some more of my NES collection. Not a huge collection. And then this one game called Gun Knack uh, that I picked up the other day. That is that is the most valuable game I own right now. So uh, Super NES collection. Again, not huge, um, just games that I love and games that I play, you know, that's what I focus on. And if I find a good deal on Super NES game that I want, of course, uh, those deals are harder to find. Sega Genesis, um, 
bulk of my game collection would be my Sega Genesis. Uh, I love my Sega Genesis and there you go. Uh, Alright, Sega Saturn and Dreamcast. We got PlayStation 1, got PlayStation 2, uh, PlayStation 3, original Xbox, Xbox 360, and then um, some of my TurboGrafx-16 games, um, backup copies for the old Sega Saturn there. Uh, I got a regular Pro Action Replay and then one that has Pseudo Saturn on it. My Atari 2600 collection, um, Nintendo 64 collection, Nintendo Wii collection, and my PSP collection. All right, so then we go to the display here. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of my game room. Um, very cool. And so let's go ahead and open up the doors here. All right, so we've got Kiss in the house. Uh, Gene has found his way up onto the uh, complete inbox Sega Genesis launch model. And he's just decided that that's where he wants to be. So there you go. Um, some of my Sega CD, uh, Sega 32X, uh, Doom for the PlayStation, uh, one of my favorite versions of Doom. And then we've got, uh, you know, the complete inbox original John Madden, the first console edition there for the Sega Genesis. Battle uh, Corpse, which is great on the Sega CD, unsung hero there, overlooked game, hidden gem, whatever you want to call it. It's a great game. It's a mech game. Uh, then we've got some 32X games here, Star Wars, uh, Virtual Fighter, uh, Metalhead. Virtual Fighter Metalhead came from the Kinda Cool YouTube channel. We did a trade and uh, very happy with those games. Uh, some of my more valued Sega Genesis games, I'm not going to say they're pricey, you know, they're probably in the, I don't know, 50 to 70 80 dollars range, maybe. Uh, the case that Gun Neck was found in, it's their rental case with the instructions, uh, very cool, man. That brought me back to the days when we used to rent NES games. Um, and then huge shout out to Joshua Moore, he's hooked me up with a couple of uh, Famicom games in Double Dragon and Ghost and Goblins and um, the Splatterhouse game that I can't pronounce the, <laughs> the but it's been awesome I play that Splatterhouse game a lot and I've actually been I never had the original Double Dragon on NES so I've been playing that a lot and then he made this box so Super Mario Brothers is in that box very good job, man. It's very cool. It's just kind of a display box for it, um, and it replicates the original box that it came in. Uh, then we've got my mini collection. The Sega Genesis, of course, is running right now, so it's out of the collection. Uh, we have some boxes for NES games and Atari 2600 games, and a PS4 Multiverse Edition of Axiom Verge back there, a uh, board game. And then down below we've got some boxes to Super NES games and there's some of the books that I have and some of the other PlayStations that I own. Um, and then the big boy here, I love this thing, I've been playing a lot of it. That's my Arcade Stick Pro, my Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Um, it currently has Halo Stick on it and um, has the entire Neo Geo library on that thumbstick there. So, well, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Um, I'm not going to show you what's in the closets because it's a lot of stuff. Uh, all my controllers and stuff are in the drawers down below. Um, junk in the closets. I'm not going to show that to you. Um, I do have the Halo 3 Collector's Edition Master Chief helmet. Um, I think I'll leave you on that note. So, guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a safe and a great rest of your day.